what creates hope for me? What creates hope? Yeah. Uh, not a question I had thought about before in that terms. Um, hope cre um hope is like from the fam like the people you have with you. Like they help you go through it and it's very special is it like very important because you need your friends and family to be there so you can create hope. What creates hope to me is so I could bring my family like in a better life and like we're not that like have that much money and and like I'm having a new baby brother. I want to help my mom and my dad. Hope is created by the people around you, the people you love, and the things you love. I truly believe that dreams create hope. If you don't dream, you can't hope and, uh, and then accomplish your dreams and fulfill your hope. I think what creates hope is seeing like little kids playing and stuff like that and wanting them to be safe and wanting my friends and family to be safe and that creates hope and wanting to continue to do what I do. You know, I think it's uh, in the eyes of my children. When I look at my children and a lot of times I have the ability to look at them uh, when they're sleeping and it's like I'm looking at them for the very first time. It's uh, knowing that one person can make a difference. A lot of people say that, but actually having seen it in operation, both with what we've been doing and what happens around the country, where somebody with energy and with an idea, if they stick with it, uh, I think that makes a difference. What gives me hope is uh, my lifestyle and the way I feel and uh, my family and God. I get up every day and know that there's going to be something different that happened today. Something new and something exciting. And so my hope just comes from more new and more exciting. You know, just life. <laughs> Well, my greatest hope is from my faith. And uh, my hope is that I will go to heaven and see my husband and my parents and brothers and sisters. I think people, seeing people react and being willing to move in a positive direction. It gives me hope, honestly, is my wife. Without her, I really don't know where I'd be. She, uh, she's the reason why I get out of bed in the morning. I really got to provide for her, and it just motivates me. And I hopefully, you know, start a good family for me and her. It, like empowerment of choice, if that makes any kind of sense whatsoever. But I never had like the what ifs or the what was me kind of thing. Um, so I always had that, like the gift they gave to me was that the power of choice. I think every day that's, I can choose what I want to do. I'm not limited to anything. Some, someday, um, there'll just be a place for all of us. You know, a place that we can all live and, and love together, you know, in peace and harmony. What creates hope for my life is my son my 10 year old son, um, because if I don't, um, if I don't try to do something, you know, about the problems in today's society, then pretty much he's not going to have a full, a, a full future. And so that's what creates hope. My, my hope is my son. You know, you just asked me that and I said, I really don't know. And I think that hope probably springs in crises and when you try to see a light somewhere. So I think that it springs within all of us. It's just, it's just some place in time where you're at where suddenly a light comes on and you think, there is a way out of this. There is a way out of this. 
it sounds kind of corny, but, um, you know, here in San Diego, every day the, it's cloudy in the morning. But when you start seeing the blue patches, and you know it's going to clear. <laughs> it's raw, sorry. But that's... The sun. It's only illness and uh, the result of some very negative things that cause people to be cruel to one another. And if those things are erased or removed from a person's life, they can live a kind and a good life, one towards the other. That's it.